Welcome back, Cookaholics. It finally came. So this showed up on my door this afternoon. It is our September, I know we're in October, but it's our September edition of our Fish Vault Elite package. Uh, again, we were promised a certain item, and I'm sure you can make out by this little cardboard tube, uh, what one of those items is. I don't know whatever else is supposed to be in here. Um, it doesn't look like they're sending two packages. Angler's Hall, in previous uh, renditions, sent two packages, a box as well as a main ticket item direct from the distributor. It looks like Fish Vault actually got their items in and then shot them straight out of their very own warehouse because even the tube is marqueed with the uh, Fish Vault logo. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to open this up and uh, crack into what we got in our Fish Vault for September 2021. So, I saved you uh, witnessing me open up the tube. It's just a matter of shaking all the items out. Uh, we've got our What's Inside card for September 2021's Elite Collection. Um, we were told we were getting a 1-3 Fishings Rod for to go with a, uh, a reel that we got a few months ago. So, uh, we definitely have that in the box, or in the tube, today. Um, so far, so good. It doesn't look like it's damaged. I've had issues with Angler's Hall. It took me three attempts to get an uh, undamaged rod uh, with one of their packages. And it, with Fish Vault here, all the items were in the tube as opposed to uh, Angler's Hall, which sent a box, and then they sent the rod from the manufacturer direct. So it looks pretty good this time uh, that we're not going to have any issues. So we've got Hoorag, Protec, and Anthem as our major manufacturers listed on the card, and of course, 1-3 fishing. Um, the rod is the most expensive item, but we'll get to that last. I'm going to skip down and go to number two on our list of items. We have two, four, six things listed, but there's more than six items in this, uh, in this month's package. So our number two item for $63 value is a 1-3 fishing's assorted lures. Assorted lures. And uh, that is an understatement. So we have a 1-3 Fishing is one of the finest growing, or fastest growing, uh, recreational fishing brands in the U.S. Uh, put your blackout spinning rod to the test with a variety of lures, topwater, crankbait, and soft baits. So, picking through, we have three, four, six, seven, lucky number seven, items from 1-3 Fishing as far as lures go, not including the uh, the rod. So, we'll start with our one singular soft plastic. They gave us a package of 1-3 Fishings. Um, these are the Ninja Worms. Uh, Ninja Tail Ninja Worms. These are the 7 inch in Mardi Craw. And these are 7 sixteenths of an ounce. So they're basically a, um, a cut tail worm which is pretty cool. Open this up. Definitely smell the, uh, the fish attractant on there. Hard to place. Maybe a crawfish smell. So we've got that right now. They call this the Marty Craw. Smells like crawfish. So you've got purple flake, green flake, gold flake in a watermelon green pumpkin color. A oh, blue, blue, purple, green, uh, fleck in there. Definitely a substantial worm. There's that cutter tail, cut tail on the back. And 1-3 has these, it's not just a standard cut tail, it has a flange that cups the water as it's going. So you have the cut tail design, but you have this beefy flange that catches water. Um, so this is not just a standard uh, worm that you just kind of like text rig and kind of work on the bottom and hope that it kind of attracts. This one I'd actually fish this like a jerk bait, um, you know, just pop it across because I'm sure with the action that this that these flanges would give off uh, would probably be dynamite to work it not only as a bottom fishing uh, bait but also even 
popping it every once in a while, uh, like a jerk bait, as well as your typical yo-yoing, you know, bring it up, let the ribbon tail come down as it falls. Uh, so that's really cool. Only problem is, obviously, thankfully these are in a clamshell uh, package, but they had to kind of fold this over in order to get it into the tube, which was kind of a, you know, to me, sort of an oversight. I think they should have maybe sent all this stuff in a separate box, but hey, if you can save on shipping costs, they'll figure out a way to save on shipping costs naturally. So that's our soft plastic entry with the donkey sauce smell. Uh, max buoyancy, so it's a buoyant bait. So that's our soft plastic. We'll start with this one. We have uh, Navigator 94, one three fishings Navigator 94. It's a quarter ounce, or excuse me, half ounce. This is their floating top water, sort of like a, a little spook uh, top water walking bait. Let's see, what do they got? Bone color? Uh, albino rhino, famous albino rhino. Got little rattles and a nice big one thud in there as well. Uh, this is their, again, Navigator 94 top water. I love the eyes that they put on the 1.3, the backwards teardrop eyes. I don't know, just <laughs> gets me every time. Um, awesome. Again, this is a 3 and 3 quarter inches, half ounce. Has a number 3 and a number 4 treble on it. Unscented. <laughs> no donkey sauce on this. I'm getting trapped on the paper here. Come on, get in there. Get in. Ah, darn it. So easy to get them out and so hard to get them back in their packaging. I guess that's why they have machines do all this work. All right, so there we go. Oh, my God, with this thing. I'm going to edit all this out. Absolutely. There we go. This stupid triangular shaped piece of paper. Ah, there we go. Success. All right, and uh, again, it's top water. That's cool. So you got some top water for those uh, top water bites. So many things. We've got ourselves the Whippersnapper 80 from 13 Fishing. So this is our little jerk bait. We've got a three and an eighth length, uh, half ounce. They have uh, number eight hooks. This dive or suspending. Okay, so it's a suspending jerk bait, three to five foot. And this is in Goldilocks color. That's cool. I love jerk baits. Let's try to pop this guy out of here. Number eight trebles. There we go. So we have a suspending jerk bait. Much more muted tone. Sounds like a single, yeah, single little uh, rattle in there, maybe one or two. But there you go, in a Goldilocks color. Black back. Great for stained water. I love copper colors, gold tones, and it still has a flash of red orange on the bottom. Sweet little, like a pointer, almost like a pointer uh, swim bait by 1-3. That's awesome. Little, little jerk bait. Uh, we've got ourselves the Troll Hunter 70. So this is a, I think I've seen some video underwater footage of these. Uh, they have a really unique um, hunting action from this. Uh, this is a two and three quarter inch, 11 sixteenths ounce, and it floats. So it's a floating bait, which is awesome. So you can work this along rip wrap. Um, I'd even work this along large stumps, not so much twiggy, twiggy uh, wood, but, uh, but this would be pretty good along, you know, trustable wood lines where if you do bump this up, you can probably, you can back this off and it'll float up and out and clear itself pretty well. Uh, 12 foot depth, Dives to 12 foot, but it's floating, which is always good. I prefer floating crankbaits um, just because of that. If they do get hung up, you can use a knocker to knock them loose, and they'll they'll back off and float back up to the surface. Deep thud. Deep thud on this. Uh, the color on this one let's get this, is Epic Shad. Epic Shad. I don't really see that, but <laughs> that's what they call it, Epic Shad. It's got a little hue of rainbow trout purple, purple and pink right in, in the cheek, the gill blade. Uh, I don't see a shad spot on it, but they call it epic shad. You got a deep root beer brown back with that gold, almost looks black, but it's really a deep, deep brown. Uh, and then you've got that bright chrome, chromish pearl on the bottom. That's pretty cool. I like that. Love crankbaits, love jerkbaits. 
I really am getting more and more into the hard bait realm. We still got more to go. Uh, something we have seen before, we've got the motorboat. Motorboat, we've seen this in MTBs uh, quite a few times. Uh, this is the four and a quarter inch, half ounce, again, floating. It's basically um, just a prop tail on a, on a fluke. So you got your little soft plastic fluke with this little plastic prop tail. I wish these were aluminum or, you know, chrome plate, plated uh, metal, uh, but they use a plastic blade, obviously, for price. Um, but what's cool is they have an O-ring. It's a wire-through design. They have an O-ring that's screwed in, and then you have this little, like, clip. So you can take that off and dress it with a feathered treble if you choose. Um, so then you have, like, a feathered treble as well as. If you're going to do that, what I normally do is I will fish with a, a needle, and uh, I'll take some, you know, 25, 30 pound test braid and I'll fish that through into this hook slot and I'll tie a loop and then I'll loop that over the hook, then run it down and tie off my treble hook. And then the dress treble is tied directly to the main hook. So if the treble gets them or this, I, I know I'm not going to, you know, pull out and lose them because that's the last thing you want to do is, is lose, uh, lose a fish because this is only basically just screwed into the soft plastic on the back. So this could pull out. But if you run a hook, tie off a knot on the on the main hook here, and then you know tie your treble on the back. That's just a little hack that I use um, specifically for this. The couple of times that I've gone been out, and I have had short strikes where they've caught the dress treble. I've had short strikes where they've hit that bladed bait chugging in the back and missed the main hook because there is so much distance between your hook point here in the head and then this huge expansive length of material moving in the background that the fish are queuing in on. So, just a little hint. Two more baits to go. Uh, we've got our Trash Panda, the Poppin' Trash Panda. So, 1-3 Fishing's soft body frog, popping frog. Uh, two and a half inch, and nine sixteenths of an ounce. Very soft. It's got that in, uh, the weight is actually um, seated right back here. It's got shrink wrap around the hook, so you can piss out the extra water right in this little gap, but it definitely helps on preventing it from getting waterlogged. Um, I've had the 1-3 the Fishing Frogs that aren't the popping ones. This is my first popping one. I like that bright yellow chartreuse mouth cup on a black body. So this is great. Uh, early morning, stained water. You've got that black profile. And then every time you pop it, you're going to see a little flash of color, flash of color, as you're popping it down through that water. And they've got this whole profile to follow. Uh, I definitely would trim the skirts down a little bit. I might keep the marabou flash long, but I'd probably trim the, uh, the skirt, the black skirting material down uh, right about, you know, just at the eye, eye height. Because I basically just cut them right below the eye or just above what would be the, the feet if they were squatted down on a real frog. That's cool. So again, this is the first popping version of the, the panda that I have. And the El Diablo 75. So we've got ourselves our lipless crank. So they gave us worms, they gave us a jerk bait, they gave us a top water walking bait, they gave us a top water frog, they gave us a crank bait, and now they've given us a lipless. So that's pretty cool. They gave us a full assortment of all the varieties of styles of baits, uh, and that's under one, one item listing here for $63. And uh, this is the three inch, three quarter ounce uh, El Diablo. And this is in that day old guacamole color, which we've had in the past, day old guac, rotten guac. Uh, awesome, I've already reviewed this on uh, another unboxing that we got the same bait in. So that's pretty cool. That's not bad. I have to say that that is what a, uh, a you know, a fishing tackle mystery subscription package monthly subscription should be that's a big haul of specific fishing items and it's just the one thing going from there though we jump off the bridge so next up pro tech natural liquid supplement beverage enhancer for twenty dollars so a twenty dollars of my value out of 150 fifty dollar value sixty three dollars goes to those baits We'll figure out whether or not that's value. $20 to this. Protonex Energy. It's Turin 
B vitamins and organic caffeine in a mixed berry liquid. I thought it might be a powder that you add to water, but it's a liquid as an energy supplement drink. So you take this, you open it up, you add one to a uh, to 16 ounces of water, two packets daily as needed. So there's two packages in here, I suppose. Probably two ser no serving size, one packet. Servings per container, 10. Okay, so there's 10 servings in here. You add one to every 16 ounces of water. Uh, it'll give you, obviously, caffeine, taurine, which is, you know, Red Bull, and, uh, and B vitamins to keep you awake and alert, I suppose. Probably not bad. It's a mixed berry. I'll give it a shot. Uh, you know, I, I like a lot of uh, organic uh, juice drinks. I'm one, personally, I don't drink a lot of water, just straight. I've never been one to just drink bottles of water. I have to have flavor. Normally, I used to get those little squirts and squirt the flavor in um, because I like something more palatable than bland, blank, flavorless water. So that's $20. Next, uh, from Patriotic Hood Rag for $16. Uh, this is a face mask, head bad, do rag, uh, reusable, washable, slip resistant, sweat absorbent, high quality, soft, comfortable, blah, blah, blah. So we've got ourselves a, a rag that you can use as a headband. Uh, they have some lady's hair curled up into it, a uh, um, face mask, a hoodie. They even have it folded over to turn into, you know, a full face shield. So that's pretty cool. So you got a, a couple different ways to style this. Basically, you know, it's, your, it, it's a bandana. <laughs> it's a bandana. So uh, there you go. And it's a sweat wicking uh, absorbent bandana so it's not your typical ones that you know once they're soaked you, know, you kind of have to wring them out this one will keep probably keep you cool too 16 dollars with the price of things as they were with covid uh you know marketing these things up and everybody grabbing them i can understand why they revalue them a little bit higher so i can't argue the 16 dollars price point um i'm sure three four years ago this would have been a nine dollar item or an eight dollar item or even maybe a five dollar or 99 cent item uh, but like I said, with demand being so increased over COVID, uh, I can I can kind of let the sixteen dollar price uh, be understandable. Two more items to go from Clean Freak Body Wipes. So what's this? That's these. All right. So we got these are throw these convenient size packs of antibacterial wipes into your fishing bag for easy access on the go. So these are actually cool. These are those um, antibacterial wipes. Um, they're good to have. Cleaning off fish slime, cleaning off the boat, wiping down your wheel, your steering wheel, teller in my life, um, just to get the slime and the things off. So this has got witch hazel, aloe, alcohol-free, and biodegradable. Uh, these are scented in peppermint, so they give you a little bit of a peppermint smell while you're doing it. Uh, I would say be careful using these around your baits, but uh, to get the smell of the baits off, not bad. I can definitely throw this into the usability for fishing. Um, even though it's not fishing specific, um, every fisherman has handy wipes, paper towels, things like this on their boat, of course. So I'm not going to slate uh, fish bulk for that either. So they have these for $15 and it's a 12 pack. I would say that's a good value. 12 of these, uh, a little over a dollar each. I can see that. Not bad. Not bad. And finally, from Anthem Beef Jerky for $7, we've got our snack. Although we also have that juice in there. Uh, we've got some meat ready to eat, MRE style. Uh, Anthem's premium beef jerky in the peppered flavor. Best by December 22nd of next year. So we've got ourselves a small package. This is uh, one ounce. You have two and a half servings in here. So uh, two and a half ounces of beef jerky. Not bad. Not bad. Made in the USA. Got to appreciate that. And they have this for $7 again. So that's not, not a bad uh, fish bowl. Um, Got to gotta hand it to them. The jerky as a snack, I always write that off. The Clean Freak body wipes, or in this case, hand wipes, antibacterials, good to have on a boat. Good to have on a boat. Good to have in your backpack when you're out, uh, you know, bank fishing too. So... That I can say, the, the, obviously the snacks I write off, I say I like seeing those in these packages. I'm one of those odd people that don't mind them, the cereal, the granola bars, that kind of stuff. Um, the Who Rag, I can see where they're going with that. 
as a face shield for fishing. Keeps the sun off you, keeps you cool. It is, again, water wicking and absorbent, so I'll give them that. The Natural Liquid Supplement Beverage Enhancer, you add to your water bottle. Again, like me, I like to have flavor in my water, and I can see a tournament, fishing wanting, a tournament fisherman wanting something out while he's fishing to give him a little bit more energy uh, and alertness, especially early in the morning, you miss your cup of coffee, you have one of these, you can throw it in your water bottle. Um, I, can, I can assess that as not specifically fishing, but acceptable. And then naturally, the top tier items, $63 for that assortment of lures. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a real $63 value. I'd have to go through each and every lure and see what their prices are at 1-3 Fishing and then assess that to see if I get actually $63 worth of items um, or better. Fish fault being what they are, I doubt it. I'm probably looking at like $40, $45 worth of items. They're just saying it's worth $63 to up the value of the box. And the blackout spinning rod, the piece de resistance. So let's bust into that before we go. So we've got our 1-3 Fishings blackout spinning rod. Naturally, it's going to be... Where did I put my knife? Oh, crap. Lost my knife. All right. We'll go, we'll go from this side then. Peel this off and see what we got. Now, we've gotten a spinning reel from Akuma, which I am not going to be using on this rod. I will go get myself a 1-3 fishing or a, another suitable um, reel for this rod. That said, we've got this cool mosaic, almost fiber, uh, you know, carbon fiber, but it's not. Uh, more like a, a patchwork pattern uh, inlay style on the uh, paint scheme. I like that. That's kind of cool look. Um, it's a seven foot one, fast action, medium power, and this runs three sixteenths to five eighths ounce. So it's a finesse rig and uh, it runs line six pound and to 12 pound test. So not bad. Plastic reel seats. It's one three fishing. It's an entry level 79.99 says it right there on the sticker so that's not bad uh 24 ton graphite high pressure resin standard guides it does go down to almost a micro guide on the end oh yeah <laughs> yeah let's let's get the staples out of here for a second let's look at the guides on the end here so we definitely have let's see if i can spin this around behind me yep we got those itty bitty micro guides so this if you're going to run a leader line an fg knot is something to definitely learn be proficient in your knot tying uh, uni to uni probably not going to work uh, unless you really are light line to light line uh, light line leader to light line main line uh, if you're doing a little thicker main line and you want to run a light line leader uh, fluoro or, uh, or run, uh, you know, braid to fluoro or braid to mono or mono to braid. Um, definitely, you're going to want to use that FG knot, in my opinion. Not bad. Whippy. It's got a whippy tip, that's for sure. It's fast action. Yep. By the fourth line guide is where you pretty much get your parabolic bend starts. Got pretty much all backbone once you get to the bottom three uh, line guides. Nice and stout in the mat in the middle. So this is their blackout edition. Um, not bad. This is the first blackout version I have. I have some one-three fishing rods. Of course, I have the carbon fuse. That's a um, you know a very expensive uh, rod. Um, that's also what I caught my personal best on, which was cool. It was a test. You know, taking that out, just testing it. Wasn't even trying to fish. I was just throwing it around with different lures to see how reactive it was. Because the whole point behind that carbon fuse is there was no separate real seat the nut here the sections all this is integrated into the development of the actual blank it's all part of the blank they just build up material so that every nuance of vibration down at that tip translates right back to everything you have the only disconnect you have is the tightening nut and the reel itself and then of course the line guides themselves but everything else about the rod was unibody one single item um 
and it does. You feel everything. You feel ticking pebbles underwater. You can feel it. So that carbon fuse by 1-3 Fishing, um, if you can still find them, because they were limited production of only 1,000 spinning and 1,000 casting rods, period. 2,000 rods in the world. So uh, if you can still find one, if someone's selling one, I recommend it. I certainly recommend getting one if you can get the price down on it because uh, it's pricey for what it is. A rod, like I said, I'm not one to push expensive stuff. If you're a tournament angler and you're making money doing that, if that's your livelihood, I can understand spending the extra money for quality gear. But I've caught fish on a shoelace, so it's not, you know, on a stick in the woods. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't take an expensive rod to bring in a fish. Uh, with that all said, I'm interested. This is nice. Definitely going to be one of those that I keep on the boat. Uh, I will, like I said, I will get a different uh, reel. I'm not going to use the Akuma. I'm going to get a different rod for that Akuma. So I might get a, uh, maybe, you know, with, with the size that this goes up to 5 eighths, I might actually get a larger reel than I was expecting. I thought this was going to be a lighter, a lighter rod, but it is a fast action. So anyway, you tell me, what do you think about this month's uh, fish vault? Do you think it actually is starting to get into that monthly fish subscription? I'm not going to say big ticket. I don't think they're quite there to be at the price point they charge $150 a month. Um, six, seventy, eighty dollars for this, eighty dollars. You've got again. They said sixty-three for the baits. So that right there is supposed to encompass the entire, almost the entire purchase price. Um, you know, you're looking that that's $130. Uh, or 140 there. Um, you add, I guess, you add the jerky. <laughs> That's your 150. So then the, the the energy drink, the handy wipes, there you're above and beyond. That's what you're supposed to be getting your value from. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's 100% uh, true. But uh, I'd like to see this, the baits, and more fishing things and get my value from that rather than the snacks and the handy wipes and sunglasses and that kind of thing. But you tell me, what do you think, uh, Hookaholics? Do you think this was worth it? Was it worth it? I'm really kind of aggravated that I'm always a month behind now. I paid for this shipment last month on the 20th-ish. And it's now, you know, it's now in October, middle October. And this is September's box. Now I will be getting billed again in a week. And that will then go for, ne for this month's subscription and i won't receive that until november so i i don't know but uh with that all said thank you for uh spending a little time with me as always like share and subscribe um don't don't feel afraid to share this share this with your friends click on the share button post it where you where you feel fit uh i always love comments i love hearing from you check up on our uh you know freshly opened community tab thank goodness uh miss you know the guys, the wise guys at uh, YouTube have decided to unlock the, uh, the U, uh, YouTube's community tab for us. I'm going to be doing some polls. I'm going to be posting pictures up there. I'm going to be doing contests on the community tab, uh, including somebody who can name what the name of my foul mouth fishing's John Boat is going to be. Um, I've been giving little hints and cue, clues. I put uh, another clue today on my uh, Instagram, so check that out. I, uh, I put a clue out on my Twitter, so check that out. If you're not on my Twitter or my Instagram, sign up. Uh, you know, follow me, because uh, I will be doing little things. I might start doing little side contests uh, just on Instagram or side contests just on Twitter, uh, giveaways and stuff like that, as well as the giveaways I always do here on YouTube. Uh, as always, again, from me to you, uh, thank you for sharing some time with me. Um, Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.